Hello and welcome to Papa Hector's podcast. Throwing out another podcast for you. Three reasons why worry is a waste of your time. And I'm going to give you the real ultimate way of to stop. But everyone's not going to be, you know, willing to go ahead and do what it takes to stop at times. But I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to tell you what to do. Anyway, as always, go to HectorSalva.com where you can sign up for our newsletter, get tons of information, get information about when the podcasts come out. You can go ahead and find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Hungan Hector, H-O-U-N-G-A-N-H-E-C-T-O-R. And we're pretty much everywhere. Here you can subscribe to us on Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, or Anchor.fm on your mobile, your Android, your phone. Use Google Podcasts, Apple Phones, iTunes. There we go. So, let's dive in. This will probably be a sort of short one. So, worry is a waste of your time, number one, because it doesn't change anything. (laughs) Worry never changes anything. It just simply makes your situation worse. It makes your experience of life worse. And life is short. So, life is short... And a lot of your energy is going to go out to worrying. And it's not going to change anything about your worry. Whatever you're worrying about is not necessarily going to change. And whatever you're going to do because of your worry, you can do it without the worry. And make that experience that much more easier to live through, to deal with, and to experience. So the number one reason not to worry is that it simply doesn't change anything. And if it's not going to change anything, if nothing is going to shift or adjust, through the worry and if your worry makes you think well you know it's because I worry that I took certain precautions and those precautions helped me well those precautions are safeties you can take those precautions without having to deal with that whole worrying situation which just makes that so much more tiresome and makes everything more difficult which is number reason number two is that simply worry makes your life harder as you're worrying you're actually making your life harder you're making your life more difficult your approach the energy that you're carrying that energy that you're carrying is going to go into what you're doing and it's going to broadcast itself out like a huge like radio broadcast system and that makes life way more difficult it makes your life unnecessarily harder when you should be having an easier time you don't need to go through that alongside of everything else that you have to deal with and number three ultimately worry lowers your immunity through stress you make yourself more sick Stress is actually one of the top number one killers. It's how many people fall to getting ill. And I'm currently 
recording this through our coronavirus pandemic here on the globe. And you need to keep yourself well. And if it's not going to change anything, and it's simply going to make your life harder, reasons one and two, what's the point of putting your health more and more at jeopardy? There's no reason. There's no reason to do this to yourself. You're beating upon yourself. And if it's going to lower your immunity, it's going to make your body break down, it's going to stress out your system, and it's going to make you more fatigued and tired for no, for no real reason. At the end of the day, the energy expended isn't coming back to you. It's not bringing you life, as we say. It's taking, it's driving life out of you. It's sucking you of life like a vampire. And so that makes it even that much more pointless. So how to ultimately stop worrying? Worrying is actually a really serious illness. It's like being a worry wart, as they say around here. Being worried Wilma or worried Wilfred is an illness and it's very harmful to you and your system. The real only way to ultimately stop dealing with this ultimately lessen your anxiety and your worry is to heal you is to undergo the proper treatment and healing our practices and our tradition have those proper healing techniques and tools to be able to properly heal you and depending on how severe the illness is depends on the treatment that you need. Luckily for you, you have myself, plus I have a number of God children, who, some of which are adept at identifying what it is that you need, and some that are adept at being able to help you and as well treat you in your scenario with your illness of worrying and anxiety and get you through the proper treat spiritual treatment th through the proper life treatment that's needed to heal because worry comes from deep things and it can't be treated and dealt with on a surface level and that's part of the reason why during this pandemic so much worry and paranoia has come out because it was already there. It can't just come out of nowhere. It's a deep sense of worry that many people do have and sometimes don't even realize how much of it's going on for them. And the only way to truly resolve to truly resolve this is to go through the proper healing and the proper spiritual healing and treatment, the proper life healing, integration and treatment that's needed. And this is something that through our Sanse system, our Sanse practice, when it's practiced properly and correctly, can go ahead and truly totally resolve and we've seen miraculous, beautiful stories of healing where people who have been dealing with this since very young have been able to be totally freed of even medications and having to live a very difficult life because of worry and because of constant worry, stress, and anxiety. But you don't have to live like that. That's what we're here to tell you, is that you don't have to live like that. There is an ultimate resolution. And 
psychology doesn't resolve it, psychiatry doesn't resolve it, therapy doesn't resolve it, coaching doesn't resolve it. That level of solution lies in a spiritual healing that very, uh, there's very few in the world who can actually properly do it. That's why there's a lot of false positivity out in the world and false positive patties which are re actually negative Nancy's hiding underneath. Just people pretending to be positive when they're actually filled with worry, greed, ambition, fear, stress, and anxiety. And lots of people deal with it. I accept you for who you are and how you are as you are. But what we're saying to you is you don't have to deal with it. And there is ways. There is proper ways. But this is not something that has been resolved effectively by modern methods, nor by many um, improper techniques or methods that have been dealt with or created out there. So, all in all, I hope that this has helped you and maybe woken you up, got you a little bit awake or a little bit thinking differently, like, yeah, you know, it doesn't change anything and I don't have to do this. And if you need our help, you know where to contact us. Get a get on Hector Salva H E C T O R S A L V A dot com and send us a con a contact message or you know give us a call whatever it takes and you know let's get you on your way to feeling at peace really being able to enjoy life and feel some peace and some freedom of the worry and being able to feel healthy and good and keep the faith as always and many many blessings